a couple bucks in there, they'll appreciate that. Uh, also, if you if you're in the back, we'll keep the conversation to a minimum. If you guys are in the front, I'm sorry, but it's okay. Uh, nonetheless, the show is getting ready. Uh, we're ready to start. Nate, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready. Your host for the evening at Stockman's Comedy Night is Nate Spear. I just I only ask because you're the only other person. 
person that I see in here that looks closer to like my, you know? It's a little bit comforting. Can you just say you're black? Yeah. Alright, man. You're black tonight, man. You get a pass. Say, say nigga. Say it right now. You gotta earn it. It's all good. You get there. You get there. Um, it's cool. And you know, I think that, I think honestly, too, too much pressure has been put on black people to check white people when they say the n-word, right? It's too much pressure, right? Because I don't know if you know this, but like if a white person says nigga in front of me and another black person sees me see that person say it, they'll look at me like, what are you gonna do, bro? Like, I gotta fucking fight that person now. <laughs> and I'm a non-violent person, I don't wanna fight that person, so like, I try to fight any excuse, like the last time a white guy said nigga in front of me, uh, it was my friend, and I, I, I actually offered to pay for the 23 of me. I was like, maybe there's a little bit of black in there. I don't know. We can get like a quarter pass, maybe. Uh, I'm a black person, so I should have started with that. Sorry. Uh, you guys, you guys are, you guys are definitely like cool with black people up here, right? So yeah. yeah. The silence makes me think of it. I don't know. Usually people are like, woo! You guys are just like, yes. <laughs> yeah, we like them sometimes. <laughs> um, I get into weird situations as a black person. Like, sometimes it's weird. Like, the other day I was at work, I was in the break room, and this white girl had some chicken, and she couldn't finish it. And she looked across the table, and there's me and this Asian girl. And she looked at me, and she looked at the Asian girl, and she offered the Asian girl the chicken. And I was like, what the fuck? Why didn't you offer me the chicken? And she said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to seem racist. And I was the right, I was like, holy shit. Like, wait a minute. How much free chicken have I been missing out on? Because my chicken is all right. You can ask, it's cool, I'll say yes. I've been, I've been doing that joke for years, and honestly, I was like, don't, don't actually offer me chicken if you're a white guy. I'm gonna think you're racist. It's just like, it's just how it is. Like, but to be honest, like, I think all of us is a little bit racist. Like, you're all a little bit racist, right? Can we just admit, like, right? I don't know why you're shaking your head yes right away. She's like, yep. <laughs> no, I like, I like the honesty. I like the honesty. Like, we're all a little bit racist, I think. And I, I have, like, a kind of a test to see how racist you are. You can tell how racist you are by, by like, the way you notice other minorities when you walk into a room. You know what I mean? Like, you walk into a room, and you're like, hey, there's some black people in here or whatever. That's not that racist, that's just an observation, right? But if you walk in that room and you're like, hey, there's like five black people and three Mexicans. It's like, what the fuck, why are you counting? <laughs> what are you preparing for, you know? Uh, I have a friend who doesn't believe in racism. Uh, he doesn't believe in it. Uh, I was like, that's cool, man, but it still exists. Like, you can't take something that exists and just say you don't believe in it, right? Like, I can't go into a Best Buy and just start walking out with some TVs, and then when they're like, hey man, where are you going with those TVs? I can't be like, hey, I don't believe in stealing. <laughs> those TVs belong to the earth, I'm just taking them back. <laughs> Y'all TCAP fans? Any TCAP fans in here tonight? Any TCAP? Y'all know what TCAP is? No? You don't have TCAP? I'm sorry, I'm too deep in the game. To catch a predator, I call it TCAP now. It's just, it's, too, it's just too long to search the whole. It's just TCAP. Now you know. Like, uh, I'm a huge TCAP fan. Uh, if, you, if you guys watch To Catch a Predator, you know there's like a bunch of different great predators like to watch in there. It's like, there's a lot of great ones. But like the best one is the pizza predator, right? Like the pizza. I don't know if you know, like the, there's a guy that came to the house uh, to fuck this little girl, and he brought a large pizza with him. And Chris Hansen came out, and he's like, have a seat. And this guy's like, okay, but can I eat this pizza first? <laughs> and Chris Hansen was like, he was like shocked. He's like, yeah, I mean, I guess you can eat the pizza, right? And the guy's just sitting there eating the pizza while Chris Hansen's reading off his text messages like, you said, I want you to suck my dick. What did you mean by that? You know how like, Chris Hansen has questions, and he's just eating his pizza the whole time, and I'm like, this is a horrible situation, this is horrible to watch, this is horrible for everybody, but all I could think of was, where the fuck did he get that pizza from? That must have been the best pizza of all time, that you could keep eating it while you're, like, I, I can't think of, like, I, can't, I wouldn't have the appetite to eat pizza if I knew I was going to be arrested, you know what I mean? Like, the only thing I can think of is, like, if I was, maybe, like, if I was fucking, right, like, if I was in a room fucking somebody, 
And the cops busted in that room. And they're like, that's the guy, arrest him. That's the only time I can think of where I would be like, can I finish first? Like, can I... <laughs> so like to that guy, I don't know, like, I get pizza was better than pussy. So that guy, and I don't know if you guys know, pussy's amazing. It's a, it's it's very amazing if you know, if you didn't know. He, I, right? I can prove it. I can prove it. You have never in your life heard someone say, eat my pussy as an insult. You may think you have, but you have never heard anyone say that ever. But I have heard a grown woman yell out, suck my dick, when she was mad at someone, because she knew that was the worst thing to say. She knew, she knew if she said eat my pussy, like three dudes and five lesbians would pop out a bush. Like, was she talking to me? Like, Shit, all right guys, I'm Nate Spears. You guys ready for some, some more comedy? Club. Is this a private club? What is this? Yes. Does it cost money to get in here like normally? Yeah. Yeah? I'm not gonna ask how much. I don't even want to know. It's not <laughs> much. What's that? It's only like 39 a month. Alright, you should have said more. Like, <laughs> like, like I would have paid like a hundred. You guys should charge more. I think you should charge more. Um anyway, I don't know why I went on that. <laughs> you guys, uh, your next comedian coming to the stage, uh, it's a good friend of mine. Um he told me not to say anything, so I'm not going to say anything. He is a member of a group called Comedy Psychos, though, and he runs some dope shows all around the Bay. Guys, give it up for Leroy Avoy. Hey.